guys, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. And you probably guessed that's the beginning of Dream by Johnny Little John. And today we're talking about Johnny Little John, one of my all time favorite guitar players. He kind of picked up where Elmore James left off. And like Elmore James, he was an amazing slide player and he kind of, you know, plays in the Elmore James style. But he was also playing some really great single note leads. and. Uh, Elmore James was getting into all that, you know, towards the latter part of his career. And that'll be another topic down the road. So I want to talk about his playing in standard tuning. And I want to talk about it in open D as we are right now. Um, if you're looking for a great guitar tone, that Chicago Blues All-Stars on Arhuli is kind of a holy grail of Chicago Blues for the vocals, for the guitar tone. Um, I really did my very best to, to get a decent tone. I do have my bad monkey on because I can't play loud here. I can't just crank it up. And um, I don't want to have a Les Paul. I mean, that was a Les Paul. Um, so you got some hot pickups. But um, just do your best to get a big sound. That's all I can really say. You're, everybody's kind of on their own for, for the tone side of things. But he did use a pick. And... Uh, he just had a way of, of letting the notes hang. He played this note a lot. So much of playing good blues is kind of kind of unlearning what to do rather than learning what to do. Sometimes he played really slow, but he just played things with a lot of a lot of impact. So let's try this. not always a lot of vibrato. Let's let's look at a solo. Oh, here we go. I like the way he uh that was like playing in, in slide but playing as if he was in standard tuning. It's very Elmore James, especially this part. And then... chords in this case it would just be the five so the most important note that he's always hitting is two frets below your tonic on the tenth fret like you can pretty much get everything in open D out of that between the 10th and the 12th fret. Another song that he, that this time he plays it, I don't know if it's an open E or if he's using a capo. I'm going to go ahead and use a capo because it's definitely in the open tuning, but it's an E. So it's called Nowhere to Lay My Head, which is a great tune and it's, it's really all about racism and, and his experience with that and it's very bitter. You know, we had a lot of songs that were really bitter, like, what in the world are you going to do when your friends turn your back on you? And then I like it when he says, all my life I paid taxes hoping that I'd get something free. You know, it's, it's very heavy blues lyrics and feelings. So this one is like, it's another list of the songs that you just can't just stand up and play those songs unless you've really been there, okay? Um, but the guitar on it is just amazing. So. It's the one chord, kind of a funky one chord groove, like like a Howlin' Wolf kind of thing, like off Live at Alice's or something there. This is really getting down into like the Mississippi sound. And he plays really great side over it. And 
It's all right there. rhythm guitar in that record too that was actually Alvin Nichols who was known in Chicago as B.B. Jones and I did get to do some shows with B.B. Jones and with Sam Lay and also with Tail Dragger um, he was kind of a B.B. King imitator but on this record there isn't much of that he's just playing chords it's even kind of hard to hear him sometimes but uh, what a great band on that record and really Funky from Chicago is another great one and So Called Friends Really, you can't go wrong. Um, Sultans of Swing has some of his singles on there, like Guitar King, which I actually recorded a version of Guitar King on a neoprene fedora a few years back. You can't go wrong with anything with Johnny Little John's name on it. So, so speaking of kind of unlearning how to play, here's a perfect example of unlearning how to play. Everyone seems to think of always using full chords, but this has got to be one of the greatest uh, intros to a song ever. This is also in D. And I'm going to use a partial chord, and this is the kind of partial chord that you just wouldn't think of. It Really, the chord is just... There's your A7th, G7th. But I've listened to it and listened to this, and I think that the G string's not there, so you have these partial tops and bottoms. That's reeling and rocking. Which, what an intro. I mean, when you hear it, you're gonna it'll blow your head off. So I think he's trying to play this and not getting all of it because he's bumping into strings. So you could try just taking some of the tones of the chord away. I've got the bottom and this. So... did it with the full chord. But it sounds better when it's just, and that's it. So this is a three note chord, A7. Let's try it again. Then he plays this great lump like this. This is like over the four. So yes, I'm drifting. Watch. single notes kind of like a slide you know that's something you do on slide but he kind of played it standard so that's a great introduction what a great song there so another um, cool intro he does And interestingly enough, uh, Mighty Joe Young does this all the time. I'm in A, it's in B. And the great thing about this is that you get to uh, you get to exploit these open strings. He's really a master of throwing in these open strings here and there. So from Rick Crayer. So thank you, Rick, man. This is what just happened. 
this is instead of this and this is exactly what I mean about unlearning and learning how to do things wrong kind of because sometimes the more wrong it is the better it sounds so this is probably just because the guy had really big hands and you know was playing at SG or Les Paul switching from an acoustic guitar so he was bumping into strings so I'm just leaning over my pinky onto the G string too it's all about making more noise more sound let's try it again sounds like slide you know it's kind of sounds like that so the thing is to really make you wait for the resolution tension then release you know he really lets the notes hang and it's kind of like little Milton in a way but so much more biting so have fun listening to this amazing amazing singer and guitar player and blues man Johnny Little John and I really recommend uh, the Arhuli record and all his old 45s and so-called friends and funky from chicago with eddie taylor's so i hope you enjoyed this little lesson about johnny little john a true hero of chicago blues just as great on single notes as he was on slide but i think during the years that he was active in chicago absolutely nobody could touch him on the slide and for singing that's all she wrote so thanks a lot and do subscribe to my youtube channel if you do have any stories about Johnny Little John, uh, you know, from seeing him live or anything like that, uh, please post them in the comments. I would love to read them. So have a great one. Thanks. Bye-bye.